Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Flow. Before getting into the course, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified. Atmospheric air contains nearly 2.5 into 10 to the power of 19 molecules for every cubic centimeter space. Any given space, molecular density less than this set to be under vacuum condition. See our atmosphere contains almost 2.5 into 10 to the power of 19 molecules for every cubic centimeter space. Any given space which has less molecular density than this call a vacuum condition got it the technology dealing with the production of reduced pressure environments using different scientific concepts called as vacuum technology we can produce vacuum by different methods such as uh, vacuum pumping vacuum is needed the answer is it is the fundamental range of scientific explorations and technological process extending from analyzing atomically clean surfaces at extremely low pressures of the order of 10 to the power of minus 11 torr to relatively high pressure of order 10 to the power of minus 1 see 10 to the power minus 1 is it's a high pressure compared to 10 to the power of minus 11 vacuum conditions between these extremes are required for the productions of vacuum furnace and uh, TVT production, vacuum coating, semiconductor processing, particle acceleration, accelerators and uh, space simulation etc. High ultra pure vacuum is needed for the production of uh, some electronic components. So, the low pressure that is 10 to the power of minus 11 torr is used for freeze drying for the foodstuffs. See, foodstuffs are uh, preserved using vacuum technology. Something very interesting we human beings continuously create vacuum during respiration and suction and Atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude by a factor of 10 for every 15 kilometers from 760 torr at sea level to a pressure of 10 to the power of minus 3 torr at an altitude of 90 kilometer. So pressure decreases sea level uh, if with the increase in altitude as we go higher and higher altitude pressure decreases relatively slowly by a factor of 10 up to sorry for 100 to 200 kilometer resulting in ultra high vacuum that it is to be noted that such clean UHV conditions to be obtained in a limited space on earth by complicated expensive technologies which are naturally available in infinitely large volume of deep space beyond thousand kilometers See, <laughs> ultra high vacuum is uh, production of ultra high va vacuum 
is very expensive and uh, space free space the pressure is very low that's why this uh, obtaining UHV condition is easier in uh, free space like space and uh, so this is very helpful in uh, space explorations so let's uh, move on to the history of vacuum science so Galileo Galilei who was uh, the first one conduct to the, who was the first to conduct experiment to produce vacuum with the piston in a, for a removal of water from mines. Torricelli, who is an associate of uh, Galileo Galilei, who discovered vacuum which is produced at the top of a column of mercury when a long tube with mercury is inverted in a trough containing mercury. So during the same period Pascal he carried out several experiments and who was the among first who was the among uh, first device barometer to honor uh, these two scientists Torricelli and uh, Pascal the pressure is measured in tor and uh, pascal units so Jurike was in 1654 who was the first one to show practically useful mechanical effects associated with the forces due to pressure difference due to between vacuum and atmosphere his famous experiment demonstrated that two gasketed copper hemisphere with sufficient vacuum inside could not be pulled apart with two into eight horses until air was readmitted into the ball so this concept was used in pneumatic vacuum transport system that is used in the mail delivery system in Paris in 18 incandescent lamp is a major application of utilizing low molecular density associated with the vacuum systems and eventually CRP is uh, discovered invented by Crookes in 1879 that is the application of mean, mean free path and uh, then evacuated flask by Tivar by application of vacuum thermal insulation which was used for many uh, scientific experts invention of vacuum diode and triode and tungsten filament initiated the development of electron and x-ray tubes these were used in uh, electron microscopes so electron microscopes primarily require vacuum in order to avoid the sample and uh, air molecule interaction in 1874 MacLeod developed his primary gaze to measure pressure accurately with subsequent de development of Pirani's thermal conducting gauge that is uh, and in 1906 and Gates and Langmore's in uh, 1916 diffusion pumps so they were uh, the they were invented uh, diffusion pumps and Buckley's hot cathode ionization gauge and pending gauge, pending that is pending school cathode gauge. 
टू स्टेज रोटरी पंप ऑयल डिफ्यूजन पंप हॉट कैथ हॉट एंड कोल्ड आयोनाइजेशन गेज पिरानी एंड थर्मो कपल गेज बिकेम स्टैंडर्ड कंपोनेंट ऑफ वैक्यूम सिस्टम फॉर डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशंस आफ्टर 1940 वैक्यूम टेक्नोलॉजी वाज डेवलप्ड फॉर न्यूक्लियर रिसर्च एंड मेटलर्जी थिन फिल्म कोटिंग फ्रेज ड्राइंग एक्सेट्रा इन न्यूक्लियर रिसर्च फॉर पलेक्ट्रॉन एक्सलरेटर्स एंड इन थिन फिल्म कोटिंग वैक्यूम इज नीडेड एंड देन बाय आर अल्पर्ट गेज इन यूज फॉर अल्ट्रा हाई वैक्यूम मेजरमेंट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड आफ्टर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री by hg hg swartz and uh, rg herd created a clean uhv new design in vacuum pump introduced by w becker based on the principle of molecular drag of a speed high speed rotor led to the present turbo molecular pump which produces pressure nearly equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 tor with the development of closed helium cryo refrigerators cryo pumps with huge capacity developed by vacuum industries for space simulations and particle accelerators please subscribe and share the video